and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana and this is Tiana's channel where I usually talk about hair stuff, fashion, beauty, makeup, health um, related topics. But today I'm going to be cutting my hair finally. I know I've been talking about um, doing this and I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So I figured why not just record myself doing it. I have a ton of dead split in so I want to get rid of them um, just to promote healthier hair. Um, so I am on a healthy hair journey. So if you guys are interested in following me on that journey or you're doing it yourself, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you guys stick around and stay tuned for more in this video. All right, so first things first, to cut my hair, I purchased some shears, and I mentioned this before in another video. These were about either $65 or $75, but they're like really good quality shears. Um, they have a lifetime warranty. This is the packaging that it came in, and it just says that they're lightweight, premium steel, lifetime warranty, soft cutting, and they're meant only to cut hair. So um, if you guys want to get these, I purchased this at Sally's, but I'm pretty sure any type of nice quality shears would work. You don't have to get these, but um, yeah, that's just where I purchased these from because I want nice scissors on my hair and I want to get my hair trims from now on instead of going to the salon because I want to save money and over time that can become expensive. So if I just do it myself, I'll help save on that cost. So for those of you who are new to trimming or this is your first time trimming on your own hair and you have curly hair like myself, what you want to do is go curl by curl and cut the dead ends off. So for instance, um, I would just take a piece, here you go, here's an example of a curl that has lost its uh, pattern towards the end, I don't know if you can see that, um, but yeah, so it starts out curly up here and then it kind of loses that towards here, so from here down I want to cut, and for me this is about um, maybe three inches of hair, so um, if it's completely dead, I'm just going to chop it off. And if it's lost its curl pattern, I'm chopping it off. But if it does have some bit of life and I can tell that there, there is some kind of curl there trying to exist, I'm going to keep it. But other than that, if it's dead, I'm just going to completely get rid of it. Because um, I don't want my hair to look damaged or have a lot of frizz anymore. And I want to get rid of all of the split ends entirely. So I'm just going to cut any piece of my hair that doesn't curl up towards the ends. I'm chopping it off. So another tip for you to take into consideration when cutting your own hair is you want to make sure your hair is in its dry state, um, natural state, before you chop at it. So if it's curly, it's not really giving you the actual length and, and curl pattern that it would when it's dry. So that's how you want your hair to be when you take scissors to it. You want it to be in its natural state, how you would wear it from day to day. And your hair is not going to be soaking wet every day, day to day. So for me, my hair is pretty much dry. I washed it this morning and now it's later this afternoon. My hair doesn't take long to dry. Um, so it's not wet whatsoever. It's 100% dry. But it could work on day one here if you want to wait a day and do it that way. That's fine too. But all I've done so far is put some curl um, defining cream in it just to help bring my curls to life so that I'm not chopping away things that don't need to be chopped away. But yeah, so just make sure to take that into consideration whenever you're trimming your own hair. So a prime example of how I'm going to cut my hair. So I'm just going to take one defined curl. So for instance, I have this one right in front of me. And as you can see, it has some kind of curl pattern right here. And then it starts to go out. And then at this point, it's completely straight. And it just goes down and has a lifeless curl right here. So I really need to chop it off right here whenever the, the hair strand starts going straight. So I'm taking all of this off. And this is probably about five to six inches. So that's how I'm going to be doing my hair all around my head. Because I have curly hair, curly hair is more forgiving than it is um, with, when it comes to straight hair. So I'm not too worried about my hair looking too crazy at the end. Um, plus this is the front of my hair anyway, so I can play it off its bangs. But as I go around the perimeter of the rest of my hair, I wanna kind of make sure that it's even, that I'm taking off around the same length. Um, but if not, I'm not gonna go crazy about it. It doesn't have to be perfect, and this is your first time, it does not have to be perfect. Plus we're in quarantine anyway, so nobody's really gonna see your hair. Um, I know I'm not going out anywhere, so if it is coming out a little uneven, I, it doesn't bother me. But if it does for you, just trim it and get it all the same size. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the dead ends. And this would be cut right here. And if you look at this, it's completely straight. 
I do not feel bad about cutting this straight piece of hair off. So because I cut this off of my hair as I continue to cut the rest of the straight ends off, it'll have more of a curly appearance. Um, it'll look healthier and ultimately it'll look shinier because I'm cutting the dull dead ends off. So that's one benefit of trimming your hair. And you also want to make sure you trim your hair frequently because split ends don't just fall off. They have to get cut off. So if you have a split end in your hair, it will just keep splitting and going higher and higher up the hair shaft until you do something about it. So you want to make sure that you're trimming your hair often. The less frequent you cut your hair, the higher you're going to have to go. And I don't think everybody wants to cut this amount of hair off every single time they're giving themselves insurance. So make sure you do it often. For me, it's been a while and I'm ashamed of how long it's been since I've gotten a trim. So I'm finally taking action now and doing it myself. I'm going to take another strand really quick and do the same thing just to show you guys. Um, but I did want to mention that th there is a popular belief that trimming your hair actually promotes hair growth and that's actually not true because um, hair growth starts at your hair follicle and it doesn't start down here where you're cutting it off. So sorry for those of you guys who believe that but if you really do want to promote hair growth you will actually take care of the follicles, hair follicles that your hair is growing out of. That's where the healthiest hair is made. Um, or the most damaged hair, it depends on how well you take care of that. So if you want to take care of your hair follicles and promote healthy, long, beautiful hair, you will do what you can to provide the most minerals and nutrients to your scalp. And that's not so much as in using shampoos and conditioners, it's really internally. So you wanna make sure you're, you're getting enough biotin, vitamin C, zinc, stuff like that um, within your diet and whatever you're consuming. So that's how you really get good hair growth and healthy hair from the inside which you put into your body but anyways that's another story so I'm gonna go ahead and just trim and as you can see it starts to go straight right here so I'm gonna get rid of this and I like to cut kind of like at an angle I don't like to do a blunt straight across cut so if you're gonna cut your hair try to do it at an angle because otherwise it will still kind of end up looking frayed towards the end so try to cut at an angle so I'm not going to show you guys the whole process of me cutting my entire head because we would be here forever. I have a lot of hair. But I did film a chunk of the process to show you guys. But the main thing I wanted you to take away from this is how I'm cutting at the line of demarcation from when it goes from a curly to straight pattern in my hair. So I just wanted to show you guys that I'm cutting that part out and I'm doing this around my entire head curl by curl. And that's the most important takeaway from this. Once I give myself this trim, it will be a long, very long time before I put heat on my hair again because that's actually what put me at this state that I'm in with the damaged ends. And actually next month will be one year that I've been heat free and I do plan on keeping that up. About halfway into cutting this side of my hair, I wanted to show you guys the difference between the top half and the bottom half of my hair. The top half was trimmed, the bottom half has not been touched yet. Once I was finished, this is what I ended up cutting off of my hair. These are all of my trimmings. As you can see, some strands are longer than others, just depending on how damaged that defined curl was, or undefined the curl was. Just a visual for you guys, this is what it looked like before I gave myself a trim. And this is what my hair looks like afterwards and I am so happy. My curls look so good. I really feel like that trim brought out the curls in my hair. And as you can see, my hair curls from the root all the way down to the tips, to the ends. I have curls at the ends of my hair and that's what I'm most ecstatic about. I am so happy. I am very pleased with the way it came out. I love the way it looks. I love the length. I even feel like it has some added volume to it too with the way I cut it. So I'm even happy with that as well. I love everything about it. And for those of you who don't know, if you're just starting to get into trimming your hair and all of that upkeep and everything, make sure that you are including trims in your maintenance routines every six to eight weeks. So that's about on average how often people get their hair trims. In case you didn't know, many people do know that, but just in case you didn't, you know, I'm gonna drop 
dropped that little piece of knowledge in here but yeah so other than that thank you guys so much for watching my video as always thank you guys so so much and if you like my channel like this video or anything if you found it helpful whatsoever please give it a thumbs up like this video it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm getting my videos out there and be sure to subscribe to my channel i post hair videos all the time so make sure you don't miss out join the family all of that other than that i post every single sunday so i will see you guys next week on sunday bye guys